It was a completely dominant weekend for Jason Hughes out of Watts, Oklahoma here at the Featherlight Fall Jamboree at Deer Creek Speedway. For Saturday night's 10,000 to win, 50 lap A main, Jason Hughes fired off from back in the field a little bit in 15th for the three wide start. However, he was patient, working his way to the front. He had a timely mid-race yellow flag and was able to restart right behind Rodney Sanders. Once those two got together, Hughes made short work of the two-time series champion and collecting the $10,000 top prize. Here's what Jason had to say after the race. Yeah, we had a really good car. I knew when we took off we had a good car, so I was trying to be patient there. And I was on the brakes a lot early, trying to, you know, not get involved in anything. And a couple of cautions there, and we were still, I think, ninth or something like that. It's that second caution, 20, some, 20 laps in or so, I think. Yeah. And... Uh, I figured I better get a little more aggressive try, trying to make something happen and we got to second there and I, he's out there quite a ways but and we, we was going to I was going to like I told Steve I said I'm going to get up was going to get up there and if I had to scrape the wall or whatever I was going to win. Curious if it's true or not it looked like the, the top of turn one and two was really what won you the race so where you were able to really build your speed up did it feel that way to you? Yeah that's where I could really make some ground up I could get up there and hit that and, and turn back off the cushion and come across the racetrack and I could pass cars that way and uh that's where I passed Rodney at. I had a really good car there, but once I got by him, I feel like I could move or move back up and just kind of cruise. And I moved down off the cushion, so I didn't take the chance on hitting the wall. After Rod watching Rodney basically run rough shot in this series as far as win totals the last two years, to really come out and do something like this is uh, it's got to put a pretty big pep in your step. It'll help the winner out here. I mean, uh, we've worked our butt off all year, and uh, Rodney's the reason the guys had to work so hard. He's been out here dominating this thing, and like I said last night, if you don't have somebody dominating every now and then, everybody will get comfortable and just be content winning a race or two here and there. So, he, that's I mean, that's good for the sport. You need somebody to get out here and do that and make everybody go to work. And A lot of racers depend on you. Your employees depend on you to, to make good decisions. At any point during that, did, did Rodney ever leave you scratching your head, or did you always have something that, that you knew you could try? Oh, uh, whenever – Whenever they're doing that to you, you're always scratching your head because okay. you might try ten things and nine of them have slowed you down before you found the one thing that speeds you back up. So it's one of them deals you just got to keep digging and hopefully you can dig yourself out of it. But uh, the guys that want to work hard will always come out and win races. Let's dig back here a little bit. You, you've won a lot of big money races um, throughout your career. You've had a lot of really good weekends. Can you place any perspective of where this weekend ranks in your career? Now, this is probably the best weekend I've ever had uh, to come out and win all three nights at the Fall Jamboree. Uh, a lot of guys feel lucky to come up here and qualify for all three nights. and It's such a luck, lucky deal to, that you got to get through in the heat race. It's, I've been up here before and not made it all three nights. So, I mean, to win all three nights is something really special and I'll probably never do it again, and it might not ever be done again. I don't know, but uh, I'm sure we're going to come back and try again next year. All the sacrifices, sleepless nights, miles up and down the road, and figuring out how to get from here to there and make sure your parts are in and your customers are happy. It all it all kind of seems worth it when you can sit here and reflect on this, this weekend and, and a performance like this, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, as far as worrying about the customers, i got guys at the shop that takes care of everything. Uh, when I leave the shop, I don't worry about it. I come out here and they allow me to come out here and do the job and that we need to be doing to sell race cars so they still have something to do at the shop. And, you know, so that makes it easy on me out here.